Untimely frosts and freezes can shorten marketing periods for many vegetables and agronomic crops. Protecting crop plants can prevent losses by modifying the environment around the plants. Typical options for protecting vegetable crops from frost freeze include seepage and sprinkler irrigation. Elevating water tables near the soil surface can increase air temperature during calm or radiation freezes. Use of sprinkler irrigation can coat plants with ice, preventing the plant tissue from falling below freezing. However, sprinkler irrigation is only effective as long as the irrigation water continues to freeze on the plants and can cause more damage if the irrigation stops or wind blows the water away from the plants. Row covers are flexible, transparent, or semi-transparent materials used to enclose single or multiple rows of plants, increasing soil and air temperature and reducing wind damage. There are two types of temporary or row covers, hoop-supported and floating. Polyethylene or poly covers are clear polyethylene installed over wire hoops. Hoop-supported covers are sometimes referred to as low tunnels and generally cover a single row of plants. Floating covers are porous and thus self-ventilating materials that can be laid directly onto plants. Only minor reduction in light levels, 10 to 20 percent, have been reported for floating covers and this level of reduction has not affected early crop growth. An added benefit of porous floating covers is that overhead irrigation can be applied while the floating covers are in place. The My Florida Farm Weather Program began in 2014 as a cooperative effort between the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, or FDAC's Office of Agricultural Water Policy, and the Florida Automated Weather Network, or FAWN, a program of the University of Florida's Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences. The objectives of this program are to provide Florida producers with site-specific weather data and various tools for cold or freeze protection and more accurate irrigation scheduling. A large number of weather stations have been installed through this cost-share program. Data and tools are available via both a dedicated web page at the FAWN website as well as a smartphone app. Weather stations are available from a large number of suppliers and all meet standards for measurement accuracy established by FDAX and FAWN. Selecting the My Florida Farm Weather link on the FAWN homepage allows anyone to view current temperatures from all grower stations. Current temperatures from the FAWN stations as well as various NOAA stations can be viewed by selecting these options in the upper right corner of the screen, and the map can be zoomed in and out to view more or less stations. All current data from any My Florida Farm weather station can be viewed by clicking on the current temperature that represents that weather station. The search box in the upper right corner also allows users to view weather data from a specific station by submitting the grower and station name. All current weather data, as well as graphs of temperature, rainfall, and wet bulb can be viewed once the weather station is selected from the map. Also, users can download archive data, use coal protection tools, and even receive freeze alert text messages all for that station. A cell phone app has been developed to deliver weather data from the My Florida Farm Weather Program to a smartphone. The app is available free of charge in Android and iPhone versions and can be accessed at your app store. Weather data can be accessed via the app, similar to the way it is on the website. Once a station is selected, users can view the online status of the station, the latest observations, a history graph, and cold protection tools. Latest observations shows all current measurements at a specific station. History shows a graph of past temperature, rainfall, and wet bulb. National Weather Service forecasts, estimated overnight minimum temperatures, a forecast tracker, and other cold protection irrigation tools can be accessed quickly as well. Users can even submit a current temperature read from a manual thermometer in order to obtain a bigger picture of weather conditions and areas of a property that is not represented by a full weather station. These manually submitted measurements can then be viewed on the map. Additional tools such as app updates and enhancements, addition of measurements such as soil moisture and ET or evapotranspiration, and even irrigation scheduling are on the near horizon and will be available to My Florida Farm Weather users. The My Florida Farm Weather Program can be accessed at www.myfawn.com forward slash MFFW.